every day, 3D printers around the world bring imagination to life, creating everything from car parts and prosthetic limbs to entire houses and even food. That's right, 3D printing is no longer just a futuristic fantasy. It's transforming industries, medicine, construction, and even space travel. But what's the real magic behind 3D printing? How does a spool of plastic, a fine metal powder, or even concrete transform into fully functional, intricate objects? How do machines print in three dimensions, building complex shapes layer by layer with mind-bending precision? Today, we're taking you inside the world of 3D printing, from its fascinating origins to the cutting-edge machines that are reshaping the way we manufacture, innovate, and even think about design. Be sure to stick around to hear how the future of 3D printing will change our lives from construction to medical breakthroughs. Before we jump in, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more incredible behind the scenes deep dives. So, how does 3D printing actually work? Imagine you want to create a small sculpture. Instead of carving it out of a solid block, 3D printing builds it layer by layer, transforming a digital design into a physical object a process known as additive manufacturing. It all begins with a 3D model, designed on a computer using CAD software like Blender, SolidWorks, or AutoCAD. This model is then converted into a file format the printer can understand. This software breaks the model down into ultra-thin layers, with each slice representing a single layer that the printer will create, stacking them one on top of the other to form the final object. Once the design is prepped, the printing process begins. The printer follows a precise set of instructions in code to guide the nozzle, laser, or print head, depositing material exactly where it's needed. As each layer is placed down, it fuses to the one beneath it, slowly forming a solid shape. Some prints take minutes, while larger or highly detailed prints can take hours or even days to complete. The true beauty of 3D printing lies in its ability to create complex, intricate shapes that would be impossible or extremely difficult to produce using traditional manufacturing. There are several different types of 3D printing, each using a unique process to bring digital designs to life. One of the most common and widely recognized methods is Fused Deposition Modeling, or FDM. This is the type of 3D printing most hobbyists and home users are familiar with. It works by feeding a plastic filament into a heated nozzle which melts the material and deposits it onto a build plate in precise patterns. The printer follows the design's instructions, layer by layer, until the object is fully formed. Once the plastic cools, it hardens into the final shape. This method is popular because it's relatively inexpensive and easy to use, making it perfect for creating simple prototypes, toys, and even household items. However, since the layers remain slightly visible, FDM prints may lack the smoothness and precision of other techniques. Another impressive method is stereolithography, or SLA, which takes a completely different approach. Instead of using melted plastic, SLA printers use a liquid resin that reacts to ultraviolet or UV light. A highly focused laser moves across the resin, hardening it only in the areas where the object is meant to take shape. As the process repeats, the object slowly emerges from the liquid as a solid structure. The result is an extremely smooth and highly detailed print which is why SLA is often used in industries like jewelry making, dentistry, and even creating prototypes for intricate designs. However, this process requires additional steps after printing, such as washing and curing the object under more UV light to strengthen it. A similar but faster method is digital light processing, or DLP. While SLA uses a laser to cure the resin point by point, DLP uses a projector to cure entire layers at once. This makes DLP faster while still producing fine details. Because of its speed, this method is widely used for applications that require rapid production, such as dental molds and small manufacturing parts. However, like SLA, it requires post-processing and uses liquid resins, which can be expensive. For printing strong and functional parts, Selective Layer Sintering, or SLS, is a game changer. Instead of using liquid resin or melted plastic, SLS printers use a fine powder usually nylon or polymer materials, and a high-powered laser to selectively heat and fuse the particles together. This creates an incredibly durable and flexible print without the need for support structures, since the surrounding loose powder holds everything in place. 
SLS is widely used in aerospace and automotive industries because it allows for the creation of complex and lightweight parts that traditional manufacturing can't easily produce. Unlike FDM or SLA, these prints don't need extra support structures, which makes it easier to print detailed and moving parts in a single piece. However, SLS machines are expensive and require specialized handling of the powder materials. Another advanced method used in industrial applications is multi-jet fusion, or MJF. While similar to SLS in that it uses a powder bed, MJF doesn't rely solely on a laser. Instead, it sprays a fusing agent onto the powder, and then a heating element solidifies the areas where the object is forming. This technique results in parts with smoother surfaces and finer details than SLS. It's used in industries that require functional, high-performance parts, like manufacturing and medical fields. However, MJF is mostly limited to industrial-scale production due to the high cost of the machines and materials. For metal 3D printing, direct metal laser sintering, or DMLS, and selective laser melting, or SLM, are among the most cutting-edge technologies. Both of these processes use high-powered lasers to melt or sinter metal powders, fusing them together to create incredibly strong and detailed metal objects. The key difference is that DMLS sinters partially fuses the metal particles together, while SLM fully melts them, creating even denser and stronger parts. These methods are revolutionizing industries like aerospace and medical implants, where lightweight yet durable metal parts are essential. However, because these techniques involve extremely high temperatures and expensive materials like titanium and stainless steel, they require specialized equipment and expertise. Then, there's binder jetting, which is completely different from laser-based methods. Instead of melting materials, this method works more like an inkjet printer. It sprays a liquid binding agent onto a powder bed, layer by layer, fusing the particles together. Once the printing is done, the object is placed in an oven or sintering furnace to fully solidify. This process is unique because it allows for full-color 3D printing, making it perfect for creating realistic architectural models, figurines, and prototypes. However, since the printed parts are not fully solid until they go through additional processing, they're usually more fragile than objects made with other methods. The future of 3D printing is advancing at a breakneck pace, transforming industries in ways we once thought impossible, from construction and medicine to manufacturing, food, and even space exploration. Additive manufacturing is unlocking revolutionary possibilities that will redefine the way we live, work, and explore the universe. The construction industry is embracing 3D printed buildings, offering a solution to housing shortages, rising costs, and environmental concerns. Companies worldwide, including Icon in the US and Cobot in Denmark, are already 3D printing homes in a fraction of the time and cost of traditional construction. Using robotic concrete extrusion technology, entire houses, offices, and even schools can be printed in less than 24 hours, drastically reducing labor costs and material waste. In Dubai, where the government aims to have 25% of all new buildings 3D printed by 2030, massive 3D printed skyscrapers and commercial buildings are already in the works. Meanwhile, in Australia and Germany, researchers are experimenting with earth-based materials, such as clay and sand, to 3D print entire eco-friendly communities. The goal? Affordable, sustainable housing built in days rather than months. The medical field is at the forefront of 3D printing innovation with researchers now printing prosthetic limbs, customized implants, and biocompatible tissues. Prosthetics, which used to be expensive and difficult to customize, can now be tailor-made at a fraction of the cost, improving accessibility for people worldwide. Scientists are also making strides in 3D bioprinting, using cell-based bio-inks to create human tissues and artificial blood vessels. Some of the most groundbreaking advancements include 3D printed corneas that can restore vision to millions of people, patient-specific organ scaffolds for improved transplant capability, printed heart valves that mimic natural tissue, reducing the risk of rejection. Perhaps the most game-changing development on the horizon is the printing of fully functional human organs. Researchers at Harvard, MIT, and Wake Forest Institute for Regenerative Medicine are actively working on 3D printed kidneys, livers, and even hearts, which could one day eliminate the need for donor organs and revolutionize transplant medicine as we know it. Believe it or not, 3D printed food is becoming a reality. Chefs and food tech companies are experimenting with printing plant-based meats, customized chocolate designs, and even pasta with intricate shapes that can't be made by hand. 
Restaurants and bakeries are already integrating 3D food printers into their kitchens, offering visually stunning, gourmet meals with precise flavors and textures. As the technology improves, we could see customized meals printed on demand in homes, hospitals, and even schools. Manufacturing is undergoing a paradigm shift, with 3D printing replacing traditional mass production in many industries. Instead of relying on overseas supply chains, companies can now print parts locally, on demand, reducing shipping costs and lead times. Some emerging technologies shaping the industry include holographic direct sound printing, which uses ultrasound waves to form objects instantly, swarm 3D printing, where multiple autonomous robots work together to build complex structures, the automotive and aerospace industries are already using 3D printing for lightweight, ultra-strong components, reducing fuel consumption and increasing performance. Companies like Tesla, Boeing and SpaceX are heavily investing in 3D printed vehicle parts, ensuring faster production and greater efficiency. One of the most exciting frontiers in 3D printing is space exploration. NASA, SpaceX and other agencies are developing 3D printed habitats for the Moon and Mars using local materials to construct bases instead of transporting heavy building supplies from Earth. 3D printed tools and replacement parts aboard the International Space Station, or ISS, reduce dependency on supply missions. Lunar and Martian habitat printing, where rovers equipped with 3D printers can build entire shelters from regolith, or moon dust, or Martian soil. Rocket engine components, allowing companies like Relativity Space to build reusable rockets with minimal waste. With technology advancing at an exponential rate, 3D printing is poised to revolutionize nearly every aspect of modern life, from affordable housing and life-saving medical breakthroughs to on-demand food and sustainable space exploration. The possibilities are limitless. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Industrial Craft. See you next time.